Can anyone explain why my hands do this? I'm not moving my left hand. It just kind of does that. Also, notice my left thumb. It's moving. It's when I move my right thumb. My whole hand makes my left hand move. I don't know why. Well, I think I can help you out there, Dr. Blitz. That is a neurological question you're asking after all. So the basic phenomenon that you are demonstrating there is called synkinesis, literally moving together. There are different types of synkinesis. What you're demonstrating is called bimanual synkinesis, two hands, right? Usually it's a manifestation of the dominant hand driving the non-dominant hand, which is I, assuming you're right-handed, that's, that's what you're demonstrating there. Uh, there are various causes of it. Sometimes it's hereditary, and it's called hereditary bimanual synkinesis. So you could ask around, see if anybody in your family has a similar, uh, similar symptoms. Uh, but the, the, the basic cause is inadequate uh, cortical inhibition of contralateral movement. So what that basically means is, you know, the nervous system functions mostly or in a very, very large way by inhibiting um, any unwanted conduction of, you know, nerves or, or neurons. So if it didn't do that, like we would constantly be seizing. So the, there's this baseline tone of inhibition. And whenever we do, you know, ha uh, have a voluntary movement, for example, or any kind of, you know, uh, normal circuit firing, it, it tends to inhibit the the parallel pathways um, to keep these signals from spreading, right? Because the brain is basically electrical. We don't want the, the, uh, the, the signals to be just transmitting all over the place. We have to keep them confined and corralled into the specific pathways and networks that we're trying to activate, you know, in terms of brain function. So there's a lot of inhibitory control, inhibitory tone. Um, so if you have inadequate inhibitory control, then essentially the signals that are telling your right hand to move are leaking over to the left side. You know, so they're, they're causing the mirror movements on the other side um, to, to also happen as well. Now there is, or, ordinarily also to understand this, there is some, you know, the two, the two halves of the brain are connected to, to each other, right? There's a lot of crosstalk between the two sides of the brain. And this occurs uh, in motor function as well. This is how we can coordinate what we do. Right? We can actually coordinate the two sides of our body. If you move, I'm moving my hands. Let me put them both in the camera. Here we go. If I'm doing this, I'm moving my hands identically to each other. That's because they're communicating with each other. You know, I can synchronize the movements of my right and my left hand side. Um, but when you try to move only one side, you have to inhibit that synchronization with the other side. And if you're not doing that, you'll have some involuntary movement of the other side. So... Bimanual synkinesis, it's a failure of inhibitory control in the brain. Uh, it's completely benign. Don't worry about it. It's just a brain quirk, it's just a funny brain quirk. Uh, but that's what it is. And again, you may be interested to ask around to see if anyone else has it in your family because sometimes it is familial. Uh, but basically, don't worry about it. Just a brain glitch.